Well, to most people, it's just a harmless fly. Yeah, but to the fruit we eat, this new invasive insect could be a death sentence. Polk County Bureau reporter Ryan Race reports on what is being done to stop the guava fruit fly. For nature lovers, the vast variety of insects is part of what makes the great outdoors great. But every so often, we always have that threat. Farmers take issue with nature when one of these buggers makes an appearance from who knows where. This one was spotted last month near Orlando. An inspector saw what they thought was an exotic fruit fly and sent it to our laboratory. It was confirmed to be guava fruit fly. The invasive guava fruit fly is most common overseas. The Department of Agriculture says the tiny insect poses a serious threat to crops because it lays its eggs inside the fruit. Eventually, new flies are born while that delicious orange dies. Hopefully there won't be any more. It's just an isolated incident. Veteran Polk County farmer Vic Story is keeping a close eye on this pest. He remembers a few years ago when a different invasive fly became established in the area and caused considerable damage to the roughly $9 billion industry. In this case, inspectors hope to stop it before it gets that far. Workers set up hundreds of traps like this one, roughly 80 square miles around where they found the original fly. There's always risk in farming. Uh, there's, there's risk in a lot of businesses. Um, there's risk in you and I driving down the road. Uh, it's just something you live with. Uh, you deal with it. The experts have been dealing with it, and so far, there's good news to report. We've been checking the traps on a weekly basis now. We have not found an additional fly. They're not out of the woods yet, but farmers have their fingers crossed that this little guy acted alone. I'm Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.